Alright, guys. Let's go. We have a chill night. We're sitting back and chilling out. So I gotta get this fucking seat right. Welcome. No. Oh. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or F I R E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be of alien nature? I don't think so. What should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? I'm not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's a pretty eye catching outfit. Thinking an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we've been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for your help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before you leave? We're good. Take care, anyway. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Good evening, Shane. Yo. Hello, Ms. Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? I'm planning to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? No, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Okay. Green tea with a lot of mint. Sweet, there you go. Your drink's ready. This looks, <laughs> this looks really fresh. I call this Mara Marrakesh. Is that it? Inspired by its origin? Marrakesh in Morocco. I heard that people really love see. Yeah, I don't know. I can't read tonight. Let's give this a try then. Oh my. It's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tatarak. What the fuck is that? You want to do me a favor and maybe tell that? Tell me what the fuck that is. Tatarak. Fuck, am I supposed to know what that is? Fuck it, you're getting milk. Here you go. Here's your order. Hmm? Is there anything wrong? Or like, is there anything right? It's not what I ordered at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix it for you. No need. Make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Well, maybe tell me what the actual fucking ingredients are next time. How are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. Thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been struck with for a while. Glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. Thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. To make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. One sec, guys. Okay. 
Oh. I want to say, please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and your team. As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you feel bad for them. You feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. But we're already used to this. So don't worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So what's the problem, then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give their spot to, some, to another indie. I, I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good, then. Squishy! <laughs> How you doing, Ghost? And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken. The Joseph here are usually prolific people in the industry. And also senior journalists. My god, my fucking mouth feels like it's stuck together today. I'm trying to, like, speak certain words together quickly or not working for me. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. Hell yeah. Well, I have some haters visit the booth. Well, if they don't like my game and say bad things about it. Or about me. That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <laughs> Even after all that, I'm still... I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight? Showing my baby to the public? I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, that's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibit. Exhibit. Exhibitor badge. <laughs> what about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I could just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Uh, that's the plan don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. Ah, cat lady. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Shane. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this year late are... Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. 
and I'm excited. I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. We want to order a sweet hot chocolate. Thank you. See somebody who is specific. Hot chocolate. Got you. Chocolate, and let's make a sweet. How are we gonna do that? Uh, I mean, we could add honey. And, uh, and and honey, we could also add, you know. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. How is it? Hmm. Not bad. It's not special. But it's enough. Bruh. Uh, what do you what do you want from me? Okay, I gave you a sweet hot chocolate Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else What did you want milk with it or some shit? Sorry, sorry <laughs> Other than the instruction on the loading screen try putting a time limit on how long they can play Why wouldn't that break the immersion probably but in case there's a good reaction to it you Might have people lining up to play your game don't want to make them way too long that makes sense if you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening, I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. But we can just... But we cannot just limit ourselves to this place. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Shane. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Uh, Maya suggests milk. It's cheap and affordable and easy to make. Maya suggests a cup of Spanish Sahara. Ooh, what is that? Fuck do I know. It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Hot chocolate with what? Hot, uh, hot chocolate with milk and ginger, he said. I think that's what he said. Fuck it. Here you go. Serve it. I don't know where the fucking lemon's coming from, but your drink is ready. Thank you. Hmm. It's good. But is it just me? Or is it just hot chocolate with random ingredients added? Okay, I'm sick of this shit. I fucking did it exactly how you told me to fuck it. I'm, I'm reading this shit. Fuck you. Hold on a second here. Where's the fucking chat log? Okay. It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Does it have to be in that order? What the fuck is the difference? It's the same fucking drink. Hot chocolate with milk and ginger. That's what I added. You dumb fuck. It keeps doing this shit to me. I don't know what the fucking problem is, whether it's the order or what. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my inform informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You locked me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing. You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel. I, I'm sorry, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder, because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It'll take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course there are things I need to figure out, but we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that? Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. 
If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career right now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now, please, go home. Relax. I don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only in a few days. That's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. That's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. <sighs> yara, yara. Excuse me for a moment, Shane. He took his drink with him. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. <laughs> That's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely? Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Mm, no, I was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful, after all. Yeah, sometimes I don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want me to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Shane, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, though, as usual. Please, take care on your way home. I guess that's all for... Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you all right, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please, don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your argument with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Huh. Now that's a trip to memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of a new millennium. I was a great, it was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. They were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I want a peaceful life. You'd find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. That wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. We all met up. We all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home now. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Shane. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then. Goodbye. They ask you to make these drinks, and fucking literally zero idea of how to make them. There's nowhere where the recipes are stated, anywhere. <sighs> and then when they do say the ingredients, you still get it fucking wrong. So it's like, <laughs> Thursday, 1st of October, 2020. Coachella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. <laughs> Is 
Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There's definitely something you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me, what? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something special. Preview. We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We learned from here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy? That's why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers. That is correct. I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you are applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh. Let me think this over, if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. I'd say we hire him. Oh no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs. Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking, or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though, to help you keep your suit clean, and to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation, but it would make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. All right, then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. Holy wow. What the hell's happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Shane. What's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. Heh, <laughs> it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You never look like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we have arrived, and we came to the conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how our things communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this. On one condition. I make the drinks. Neo will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you, then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be in my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya. <laughs> if I still need to write for the paper, paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did she find out? You remember my faithful meeting with the higher up in the elevator? Yes. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher-up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into our office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya, but we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. <laughs> you allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. 
That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. How about... This. Milk honey chocolate. Here is your drink. Specially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is going to brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity in my blood, that sounds doable. Even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We've learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We're glad to hear that, then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may speak, ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number, but full time? I should be able to write between two... I should be able to write between three and five thousand words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch raft. Well, it's GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand, from languages to arts. Write again? We're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is still a valid param parameter. Definitely. Cool. That definitely didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Fertile. I won't even ask, except for one thing. <laughs> Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Now. <laughs> Be fucking specific. Coffee with milk? Just coffee? How much ginger? Do you want the ginger at the end or in the middle? Do you want me to start with the fucking ginger? What do you want? Coffee with a little bit of ginger. I swear to God, this better be right. Coffee. I'm gonna put in milk. And then I'm gonna put in ginger. If you say this is wrong, I'm going to belt your fucking head off the countertop. Here you go. Your order is ready. Did you record my order properly? I swear to God. We relayed the order properly. We swear we did not mess the order up. I'm sorry, Miss Myrtle. It was my mistake. Please don't blame Neil for this. <laughs> what the fuck did I get? Do you have to use all three ingredients thoughts? Is that the problem? Psst. 
meal. Some people come to the coffee shop just to sit down without being disturbed. Ooh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Ah, pardon us. I was just training Neil on how to talk with customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid. <laughs> uh, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, it's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. But we will try, step by step. One small step for you might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nice to said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. Uh, what's the occasion? No special occasion. Just does. It's just... She's back, ghost. Twice in one night. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... But... What is this? What is happening here? I already told the barista... What the fuck? I already told the barista to call the cops when he's... Said he was going to breed here. <laughs> Where is Shane? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes, I'm sorry. It's alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me. <laughs> what are you doing here, anyway? We're starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. <laughs> I love Neil, man. He's the best character in the game, by far. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break, anyway. So here is the deal. It's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Shane. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. We cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. What? <laughs> what are you going to do with Coachella? According to our research, there are many breeding happening. There are many breedings happening during Coachella. That is why we decide that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings including the breeding manners. That is what we will study in Coachella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. <laughs> First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing? It's nothing, we're just friends, you know? We just want to hang out and talk about work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I never made a game from scratch before. I always wanted a bystander. Nice for the lurk, Leifon. So I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Actually, I've got a surprise for you, Leifon, once I finish this chapter. Today I wanted to thank her directly, but she arrived first. So I couldn't buy her a drink. I'll just say this, Leafon. You're probably home by now. I, I don't even know if you're here because you put the lurk down, so you might not be. But um, if you are listening right now, I would get your PlayStation hooked up and ready. Or get on a call soon. Just letting you know. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But wait. If you want to talk to her, if you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be you are, not your. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How do you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like I'm saying... It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. <laughs> we just know. <laughs> Back to you, Aqua. <laughs> so, you are done with your game, then. There's quite a lot of fixes that need to polish and fix. There's quite a lot of things we need to put, fall, fall, whatever. But players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for the, a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, 
Most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and the UI UX. It must be fun to have finished working on your create creation. It surely removed some of the weight in my chest, just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please, be more confident. <laughs> I even started to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What are you, you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Wait, is this a story of the game developers meeting and making this game? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is. Also, did you hear everything I said there, Leifon, when you put the lurk down? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know? Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I'm really sorry. Yes, okay, sweet. I know I said thanks already. But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. And those who do, don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under friend DA. Friend. Yeah. Friend NDA. Whatever. Alright, I'm not with the paper anymore. Anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or, worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write for years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved by, for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai. That's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team's team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks were considered to this Samurai 7. 7 Samurai, whatever. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized. What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Do I need to get on now or do and do the tutorial level? I thought we set that for the, the weekend. They phone. I suppose some people consider Friday the weekend. Sorry, that confuses me sometimes. No, it was something else I was telling you to get ready for. Uh, you'll see it's a bit of a surprise. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. So if we do the JoJo tomorrow, yeah. That's that's what I was expecting. If that's okay. But just there's there is something I'll need you on for PlayStation tonight if if you're good with that. Uh, yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I just can't take... I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey. Okay. I'm down? Okay, sweet. I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. Alright. So excited. Whoa, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, Selwyn. I need to go home now. And prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone see you next week. Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. I love Neil, bro. Neil is great. <laughs> I thought you were going as well. Okay, see you folks later. Yeah, alright, there you go. Vacation, huh? 
You definitely need one, Freya. I know, but not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, how are you gonna are you gonna close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going to be going on with? Do you want another drink to be going on with? What? Still on the house. I definitely won't say no. Okay. I'm gonna save and quit here. I think if it's a new story, yeah, okay. Save and quit here. What's my battery like? Yeah, perfect. Okay. It's a bit later than I intended. And it was kinda short notice, but one second here. Save. Okay, I will see you guys in about th three minutes. Uh, Leifon, I'm gonna hop into a call with you now in a sec.